In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the DJI NASA voltage monitoring, both first and second level protection. I actually posted a video a while back about first level voltage protection and got a few comments related to my settings, um, my load voltage and no load voltages that I use to trigger that first level protection. And as I mentioned in that video, there's no right or wrong, I mean, I guess there's definitely a wrong way to do it, but in terms of what makes sense for you, it, it's really going to vary. What I'll do is I have this Turnigy uh, 2.45 amp hour battery. I'll connect this little nifty little uh, voltage reading. It puts a little load on each cell and, and gives us a reading. Um, if you're looking for one of these, I got it from a site called gotheliRC.com and I believe it's like five or six bucks. So we'll connect this. We'll see 4.18, 4.17. 4.15 for a total of 12.5 volts. So what I like to do before I actually set any sort of voltage monitoring up, you know, I'll disable it for this build first, and then I'll take a, uh, on a full charge, do a flight um, with every minute, you know, landing the quad and taking a reading. So we're going to take it up, hover for a minute, then land, take a reading and do that till we get to a voltage of 3.5 five volts per cell. So we're at about 10.5 volts loaded. Um, about 3.5 volts per cell and that's probably uh, where we should should stop so uh, for now we're going to go ahead and leave that alone and we're going to chart this and I'll share that with you and then take a look at the uh, NASA assistance to get our first and second level monitoring set up okay so here's where we stand after eight minutes of flight time let me point out that this TBS discovery frame with the setup and everything is close to three pounds. So total no load voltage is now 11.1 .1 volts. And okay, now that we have the NASA assistant fired up, we've gone to the voltage tab and we're gonna go ahead and turn on uh, voltage protection. Before you go through any of these settings, make sure you have your LiPo fully charged. It's just a good um, practice to do each time that you set up your voltage monitor. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're gonna take this current voltage and what the NASA manual recommends is subtracting one volt from that. So we'll say 12.5 minus one is 11.5. We're going to leave uh, the loss, line loss voltage at zero volts, which will leave us with a loaded voltage of 11.5. So what we'll do is we'll actually take the NASA for a flight and we'll fly until this first level protection is triggered We'll know that by the blinking um, LED the, on the NASA VU. Okay, here we are ready to do our test flight. Now, I've gone ahead and left my voltage meter connected just as an easy way for me to tell um, as we get close to that, that uh, loaded voltage of 12.5 minus 1 volt, so 11.5 volts. So what we'll expect is that as the meter gets to around 11.5 volts, the NASA uh, voltage first level voltage monitor should kick in and we sh should see the uh, LED flash red quickly. So you probably won't be able to see it very clearly, but our current loaded voltage is 11.7 volts. Now you can kind of see, there we go, we're at 11.5. And you can see the LED flashing red. So we're going to go ahead and land and then hook this up to the assistant. Okay, we're reconnected to the NASA assistant. Our current voltage is 12.1 volts. Um, our previous no load we had entered 11.5, so that's a difference of 0.6 volts. Now, that and that's what we're going to put in for our, our line loss voltage. But what's interesting is that I just discovered this. You actually can't put in anything greater than 0.5 volts kind of strange, but 
so we'll put our loss voltage at 0.5 volts. Now, the $1,000 question is, what do we put in for no load? Um, so that's where the my spreadsheet kind of comes in handy with regards to just taking some, you know, uh, readings after a one minute increments of flight and you'll see right around the eight minute mark it, you know we kind of break beneath uh, 11 volts so I'm going to just put in for the total uh, no load voltage 11 volts and that's going to put us at a total loaded voltage of three uh, 10.5 volts or 3.5 volts per cell so what you want to really do is you kind of want to be somewhat conservative with these numbers and you know set them really as high as possible initially until you get comfortable with you know the behavior of the voltage monitoring and being able to land now if you're you know doing fpv and you're far off and you only give yourself a minute that's probably not not enough time so uh, like i said it's, it's it's kind of trial and error but you know err on the side of caution and for the sake of this demonstration, I'm actually going to set the second level protection uh, just a tenth of a volt less than the first level pre protection. So what should happen is we'll see the the blinking LED go off, and then uh, shortly thereafter, we'll watch the quad uh, descend and land. The second level protection is now 10.9 volts. Our, li our line loss voltage still remains the same at, at half a volt, and a loaded voltage of... 10.4 volts. Let's save our settings and then we're going to take it for a test flight and see how this uh, behaves. Okay, we're at 10 point, we're out 10.6 volts. You're seeing that LED start to kind of blink. So I'm going to just take it right over. Keep it hovered over the table. And so we're at 10.5 volts loaded. Now we should see it here shortly. The second level protection kick in. There it went. And so actually my throttle is diluted so I can't go any further. And now that was the second level voltage protection. So uh, pretty, pretty handy feature. You know, you definitely want the offset between your first and second level to be, you know, great enough to get you um, enough flight time, you know, to return to, to home. Hopefully this video was useful in helping you configure your first and second level voltage protection. Feel free, you know, I've done a lot of experimentation, so feel free to uh, post any comments or questions. And uh, thanks for watching.